procedure-specific arthroscopic simulation using 3D printing. To provide support for arthroscopic training, a box was printed using a domestic 3D printer. Removable humeral and glenoid components were printed and a mould was made enabling the creation of a separate latex glenoid labrum. A number of portals were made in the box to allow an arthroscopic or USB camera to be introduced. The humeral and glenoid components could be slotted in separately enabling them to be replaced as necessary. A lid with an LED light source and a number of superior portals was printed. This could be simply screwed into the base to complete the box. Instruments could then be introduced from a variety of portals to complete any surgery desired. For the purposes of validation, an arthroscopic anterior stabilisation was chosen. The glenoid was pre-drilled just to simplify the procedure for the validation purposes. As with any stabilisation procedure, the labrum was elevated. A suture first technique using a shuttling loop was chosen. However, one of the advantages of this system is that any stabilisation technique can be used using any equipment desired. Once the loop has been retrieved, the suture is then shuttled back through the labrum. The suture limbs are then managed and withdrawn through a superior portal in preparation for loading the anchor. For the purposes of validation, we used a push lock anchor. However, the versatility of this system means that any anchor suture combination can be used and different ones can be tried on the same system. For ease of testing and reproducibility in the validation, the glenoid was pre-drilled, but this step can be done as part of the procedure should it be desired. A zero degree USB endoscope was used for this simulation. However, if available, a 30 degree arthroscope would make the visualization and simulation more realistic, but these are much more expensive and harder to come by. Despite being a very simple design and costing less than $100 to print, the simulation box had high face validity in our small pilot study and was able to discriminate very easily between novices and advanced surgeons in both mean time and mean errors.